In this short video, we'll show you how to set up the configure controller settings on the ESP SMTE smart controller. Traditional time-based controllers water on specific schedules with fixed watering days, start times, and run times. The ESP SMTE smart controller uses input from the weather sensor to schedule watering only when your site needs it and only on the allowed days and times that you specify. In the following example, we'll show you how to set up a basic irrigation schedule. To configure the controller, you'll need to enter the location of your site, select the allowed watering days, and enter allowed watering times. Turn the dial to configure controller. With enter site zip code blinking, press select. Then press plus, minus, and next to enter the zip code for your site location. The SMTE controller uses historical weather data for wind speed and humidity based on the zip code you enter. If the zip code is correct, press yes. Next you choose the allowed water days. There are several options to choose from. In this example, we will select no restrictions, so watering can be scheduled on any day of the week. Press select. Here you can block watering on specific days of the week if needed. For example, perhaps yard work is done every Thursday. In that case, press down until Thursday is blinking, then press select. Now you set the allowed water times. Watering will only occur during these watering windows. Press plus, minus, and next to set the start time and end time for the first watering window. You then have the option to set a second watering window if desired. Choose on and repeat the process, otherwise press next. Next is the daily water window option that allows supplemental watering of new plants daily, regardless of other controller settings. Press plus, minus, and next to set the start time and end time for the daily watering window. Press next. Here are the rain shutoff settings that only affect time-based and newly planted zones. When the controller determines that rainfall has reached a set amount, watering will shut off for a set number of days. Press next twice to accept these values, then press next. Finally, at the controller settings screen, you can review all of the settings you just entered. Press more to advance through additional screens. If needed, press back to change any settings. Now press done, and that's it. Remember to return the dial to auto. You can also review controller settings at any time by turning the dial to system review. The Rainbird ESP SMTE Smart Controller. Another example of the intelligent use of water. To learn more, please visit www.rainbird.com.